Hey everybody, welcome back to this channel. We are going to step right into today's video and we are going to be converting customary units of length. Just a quick conversation about that. We are using customary units, which are the units of measurement that we use mostly in the United States. Um, so for today we're talking about length, we're talking about inches, feet, yards, or miles. This is different than the metric system, which we will not be looking at today, but that includes meters, millimeters, centimeters, kilometers, and etc. So basically um, units that are multiples of 10. Now with the customary, it's a little trickier because you have to memorize the conversion rates. In other words, one foot is 12 inches, one yard is three feet or 36 inches, a mile is 5,280 feet, and a mile is 1,760 yards. These are things you're just going to have to memorize. Today we're going to be looking at how to change from one to the other. So we're going to go ahead and um, start with something like, let's go ahead and convert three feet, and let's make those into inches. Okay, so let's say you receive a question like so, what are you going to have to do to um, make this conversion possible? So I want you to kind of imagine a foot as a ruler. So if I were to draw, here we go, my drawing skills that are not up to par, but here, let's just imagine these are each one foot, or I'm visualizing a ruler because a ruler is one foot. And in a ruler, there are 12 inches. As we know, one foot equals 12 inches. So if I were to say how many inches are in three feet, one, two, three feet, you could say that you have 12 three times. So in other words, you do 12 times those three feet and you would say 36, okay? Now, that one was kind of easy to see when looking at a picture. Let's talk about what we did though. We've converted a larger unit to a smaller unit. That's going to be one of the first things you need to know when you are doing this. We went from feet, which are larger, to inches, which are the smaller unit in this particular problem. And because we did that, we needed more inches uh, to cover the same amount of space as three feet. In other words, in one foot, we need 12 inches to measure that same length. That's because inches are much smaller, so we need multiple of the smaller units to cover the same thing. Uh, because they're so tiny, you need more of them. So because of that, when we convert, if we are going from a larger unit to a smaller unit, like we did in this problem, we actually end up multiplying. So that is something we need to know. If you're going from larger to smaller, you will be multiplying. Now, how did we know what to multiply by? So the next thing you need to know is that you have to ask this question, how many of the smaller unit, in this case inches, makes one of the larger units. So if we're going from feet to inches, we need to know how many inches make one foot. We already determined that we need to multiply, but now we need to ask that question, how many inches make one foot? And the answer is 12. So we would multiply by 12. So well, let's take a look at that in another example and take those steps slowly. Let's go ahead and convert two yards in two inches. So again, we need to ask ourselves, are we going to multiply or are we going to divide? Well, yards are the larger unit in this problem. So we're going from larger to smaller. So again, we're going to multiply. And we're gonna ask ourselves, how many of the smaller units make one of the larger units? So how many inches make one yard. We either have it memorized or we look up here and we see that there are 36 inches in a yard, so that's what we will be multiplying in this case. So we know we need to multiply and now we know we need to multiply by 36. So then you go ahead and do 36 
times 2 to finish your problem and you get 72 inches. So 2 yards is the same as 72 inches. Okay, so that's fairly simple. Those two examples, we didn't have any remainders or any fractions to work with. Okay, so let's talk about what happens if we're going the other way. So we're going from a smaller unit to a larger unit. We're actually going to stick with this original problem, but we're going to go the opposite way. So if I said I want you to change 36 inches into feet, how does that translate into an, a picture or a equation that you're going to have to solve? So this time what you have is you have your 36 inches and you want to figure out how many feet can go in them. And well, we know that one foot is 12 inches, so we might want to break this up into groups of 12. And so we know that if we do 36 divided by 12, we would end up with three groups, and those groups represent feet. So for every 12 inches, we would have one foot. So in this case, we divided. So if we go back and think about kind of how we did the first problem, what did we do to get here? Well, this time we went from a smaller unit to a larger unit. And as we saw, what we had to do was we had to actually end up dividing in this problem to get our answer of 3. So that's going to happen in every problem like this. If you are going from a smaller unit to a larger unit, you are going to divide. And it sounds kind of funny because normally when you think smaller to bigger, multiply, but it's kind of the opposite when you're doing this. So we're going from smaller to larger, so we had to divide. So that was the first thing we learned, we need to divide. Then we had to figure out what do we divide by. Well, as you see in this picture, we divided by 12. And where does that 12 come from? Just like up here in the first problem, you have to still ask the question, how many of the smaller unit make one of the larger unit? So in this case, how many inches make a foot? And the answer is 12. So what happens is then you do 36 divided by 12 and you got your answer of three feet. So we learned a couple things here. When we are going from a larger unit to a smaller unit, we multiply smaller unit to larger unit divide and we always have to know what to divide or multiply by which we can do by asking how many of the smaller unit in that question will fit into one or make one of the larger unit okay so now that we have those steps let's go ahead and do some examples all right we have a problem here and it is 180 inches equals how many yards so let's go ahead and think about the first thing we need to decide. Are we going to multiply or divide? Well, in this case, we're changing inches, which are the smaller unit, into yards, which are the larger unit. So that would mean we are going to divide. And then we have to ask ourselves, how many of the smaller unit make one of the larger unit? And that would be how many inches make a yard? You have it either memorized or you can look up here for now and that is 36. So that means to get our answer here we need to do 180 divided by 36. So if you go ahead and then do the long division 180 divided by 36 you will end up with the answer 5 because 5 times 36 is 180. So that is your answer. So that's kind of it, you guys. All you have to really remember is you need to memorize these conversion rates. You need to determine if you're going to multiply or divide. And then from there, um, how many of the smaller unit make one of the larger unit. Uh, there are no more examples for this video. However, you would follow the same process if you were working with miles or inches. And there you go. That is how you convert customary units of length. Thanks for watching. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave the questions in the comments below and I will respond as best as possible. See you guys in the next one.